my name is Apostle Whitley and I'm a pastor of Mount Sinai Covenant Church uh, here in East Dublin, Georgia. Yes, I work in the fivefold ministry. My main thing is doing the work of an apostle. Uh, however, I'm a pastor now, but I'm out to prophesy, evangelize, and teach. Under the leadership of Apostle J.T. Matt Mills, uh, I, I sat there and watched many times as armor bearer. So he told me, he would tell me often, just watch, just watch how, what I do. And, and just sitting there watching the man of God, I begin to, that, that word begin to radiate, and the gifts that he operated in. And the main thing he did was cast out demons. I watched that intensively as he did it and inspired me as the Lord took him home to write down different things. Before I knew it, the dynasty or the anointing had, had come out of the ashes. In the ministry, uh, working in the fivefold ministry, it inspired me. That's what really inspired me to write the book uh, was that of my uh, pastor, amen, some of the things that he had done, I had learned. My target audience is the body of Christ. Anybody that works in the fivefold ministry, the apostle, or pastor, prophet, uh, evangelist, or teacher, this book will really elevate them and, and inspire them and, and illuminate. This book will tap into the uh, gifts that operate especially in the uh, fivefold ministry. Uh, it would uh, help them uh, understand and know what gifts that they're operating in. Chapter five, uh, for those that, that are reading this book, the awakening, God is trying to wake up the body of Christ. We are asleep. Ephesians say that wake up, die to sleep is on the rise for the day and Christ shall give thee life. So God is trying to wake up our mind. The devil works a lot in people's mind. That's, his, that's the place where God wants to illuminate and the devil also wants to trouble. So, so uh, uh, the art of listening, James 1 and 19, be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to rap. So one of the main things that I think people need to do is listen. If we're listening to what the Spirit is saying, then, then we'll be able to do everything God say. Writing a book, uh, you go through a lot of obstacles. But as they read it, the words will actually come off the paper and come alive in you. So that's what happened to me. As I was sitting up on a, a mic, man, the very words that he spoke came alive in me. And it caused me to erupt like a volcano. That was obstacle that people could understand me being as young as I was. How was I able to comprehend and do some of the things that I was doing at that young age? But uh, it was not it was not me, it was God. So I had a lot of opp opposition against older people at that particular time, but I overcame them because of teaching. Make sure you know what your calling is. Many uh, uh, I've asked at, in revivals and say, I said, what is your calling? And a lot of people will be honest and say, I really don't know what my calling is. S some have told me I was a pastor, evangelist, but they, they didn't really know themselves. They was going by what somebody said. So my main point was first find out who you are. Who are you? Ask yourself that. Who are you? What is my calling first? And Lord, what gifts operate in me? Once you find who you are, and he'll tell you, and find what gifts are ready in you, then you're off to a good start. But when you're not sure who you are, then the enemy will begin to use your mind and you won't really sure. So a lot of doubt will kick in and fear, doubt and fear. What would cause you would not know who you are, and you'll be operating on something else besides what God said. You can purchase this book uh, on, online at Barnes and Nobles at Amazon.com and also to Ezebras.com.